Me too. Uh, another character. Oh, you want me to provide the link? So you guys are. Well, I mean, in roll twenty, I need another character. Oh sheet. yeah, no, that makes yeah. you know that makes perfect sense. That makes sense in a way that I hadn't I mean, even I, remotely yeah. considered. I mean, I can technically roll with the uh, Beyond Twenty plugin or whatever, but it just you know. I've already done all my shit, so I'm good to go. Which I'm actually kind of enjoying. I keep using it in uh, Pondo's game, and I like it. Because I can just roll straight from roll 20 into... Or straight from D&D Beyond into roll 20. Which is kind of nice, actually. Thank ah. you. Oh, I was about to say, my sheet just disappeared. But no, you just oh, made a new sheet for yeah, me. Yeah, I'm making it. <laughs> And then can be edited by. Woo. Okay, sorry. So, audience, just to catch you up, apparently we're getting multiple new characters here. Yeah, I thought it was just me. But... In the future, I'm going to need to curate the D&D Beyond list and the overlay, which I still haven't even updated to everybody being level 8. Uh, we didn't level up last time, did we? Yeah, no, we're still level we're seven. Never level. Are you level eight? I thought you were level eight. Sure we're level, um, we're level eight. You've got two feet. No, yeah, we're no, level we're level eight. eight. Yes, yes. We're level eight. Okay. Oh. I totally. Yes, listen, I totally know that uh, unassigned characters. Yeah, I think. Oh, you need to you need to claim Agrim cleric, so it'll bump you onto the active character well, list, and then the unclaim problem. Agrim Iron Fury. Yeah, well, the problem is that for so I don't know if it's. Um, it's still not sharing all the sources in D&D Beyond for your campaign. So it only has gives the option for like Light Cleric. I don't know if that's uh, something silly or what the problem is. Oh, no, I got you. Apparently, when I forgot to pay my dues, it disabled content sharing. I've turned it back on mm -hmm. right now. It should be good. Yeah, so I, I made I made this character in my Friday campaign, but I can copy it over. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll fix sure. it. I'll make it, remake it years later, but... Um, yeah, and you'll need a new character, uh, Funic. Yep. So, because this is a food show about food, I guess, I wanted to mention that I just pulled my Scrapple out of the deep freezer and I'm thawing it tomorrow morning. This is not new to me. I'm going to use the last of my bacon grease. I actually don't think there's going to be enough for a pound of Scrapple, uh, but maybe I won't make the whole pound. Maybe I'll make a half pound. That sounds Wait. reasonable. What is Scrapple? Ah, my good friend who has never lived in Pennsylvania, allow me to elucidate. Um, imagine that you have a pig, all right? Now imagine that you remove all of the useful parts of the pig and you're left with something like hoof meat, a little bit of that stomach goop, intestines. Traditional Spandex. hot dog fare, yeah. No, no, this is the stuff they won't even put in hot dogs. Damn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Low on that total now push. you throw it all into an industrial size blender and you blend that shit up until it's at the fucking it's sand. All right. Spirit you throw some corn meal, that, corn meal in to stabilize it and you fucking boil it. So what you end up with is an actual brick completely gray of pre-cooked pork meat. Then you thinly slice it. We're talking less than a half inch we're talking a quarter inch slices so it'll look like a rectangle like this that's about a quarter inch thick you cook it for five minutes on one side you flip it over five minutes on the other it'll crisp and caramelize into a solid brown exterior crust and the inside is going to be this extremely soft chewy pork meat it will fucking blow you away also it's like 90 percent salt it's literally just a block of salt the salt lick. Yeah, okay. Hey, uh, AP, real quick. Am I... Remind me again. Is that my rolling... solid congealed loaf? That sounds correct. Yes. What's am I the... rolling uh, 66 and then stepping through it to set up my modifiers again? Um... No, no, no. It's you don't No, you, you, it's you point by. Choose. Yeah. yeah, it's point by. You don't need to roll for your stats. It's point by? Oh, well, then how many points am I working with? Uh, it, oh, sorry. It's not point by. It's, it's standard array. Point. Yes. Yeah. Standard array. Standard array. It's in the player's handbook. Uh, the standard array is 
It's like 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, or something like that, right? Uh, 10, oh, yeah, 10, 8. No, I think it says 15, 15, 15, 8, 8, 8. That, no, that is no. not. No. Okay, I'll get it for you. Don't mm -hmm. Pretty early on. Oh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8. Yes, that is yeah, the standard array. Close. Yep, I thought. And then I go through each level, and each time there's a ability score increase, I apply it, right? Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. On your uh, breakfast tomorrow, AP, I agree with all the expressions Hanley was making, and he lives in Poland, where they have jelly bread. You I don't need listen. That shit. You I haven't need tasted that shit. the godlike power of Scrapple, so let me run you through the last part of this. All right, I'm cooking it in bacon grease. I'm gonna try something I've never done before, and I'm gonna flour that loaf beforehand so I can Use get a little bit flour. of fry action going on. Mm. Use corn flour. I'm going to turn this shit into a fucking godlike. Listen, when you bite into this thing, the upper and lower teeth break into a solid crunch. And then the delicious, gooey interior meat spills out of it into your face. I cannot describe the act of eating Scrapple because there is not another food that matches it. It's incredible. And Spam. it's. Spam. Terrible for it is looks it is nothing like spam. Spam is even trashier meat with the it is literally just preservatives. <laughs> Scrapple will not last the way that spam will. Spam, you don't even need to refrigerate spam. For spam comes in a goddamn can. This is real food. <laughs> so Arthur, can you um uh Spirit, do you want me to help you with your sheet at all? Um or are you good? It's not really? meatloaf because it doesn't involve any bread. Yeah, if you want to help me, I've got my, uh, excuse me, I've got my uh, uh, core stats done. I'm just really slow okay. at navigating. Can you give me access to editing Finley sheet? Sure. That description of stuff. crunch and then meat ooze and then calling it real food confounds me. You need to try it sometime. Uh, yes. How about, so, oh, I'll be you, honest, you, if I had ever heard someone tell it to me, I would have been in the same place that you were, but, you know, it's just that good. Um, uh, are you letting Spooty have variant human or normal human? Normal human. So not variant? Okay. Not variant. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. So, uh... La, la, la. I would roll for hit points. What do I roll? I would roll eight. No, the and first one. Uh, you're playing Barbie, right? Yeah. So, so I would roll. No, no, no. You roll seven d twelve. Well, the first, and then the first, no. the first level. Uh, what is your con score? Uh, seventeen. Okay. So well, my mod every, is three. Have you added the plus one for each of your attributes? Because as a human, oh, you get plus one in every single attribute. It should um, automatically do that on D and D Beyond if you're doing it there. No, I'm not doing it there. Oh, so okay. let me do plus one on each one. I forgot about yeah. that. Okay, so yeah. Now, what does your con score say? Seven. I'm at seventeen. So that's what plus plus three. Plus three. Plus three. Okay, so your first level is you have fifteen HP. Now you roll eight. Uh, uh, 8D, no, 7D, 12 plus uh, 21. 21. And that's so that 59 plus 15. Yeah. Okay. That is your HP. You got some pretty good fucking. Oh, no. They're, they're actually pretty garbage. <laughs> yeah. But still. Well, that's how yeah, it is I when I roll for hit points. It's always garbage. So, yeah, so I'm at of... 74. That's that's pretty good. I'll take that. That's not bad. I mean, um, Agram is in. Uh, I mean, the 95. paladin has the paladin has higher hit points than you. Yeah. Well, I mean, but that's that's how it is when I when I roll. I mean, like, you know, two, 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 three. Well, keep in three mind, is... keep in mind that for most things, especially combat, your hit points are essentially doubled because you're only taking half damage. Yeah. Uh, all right, so what else does human get? 30 um, speed. Yeah. Burr. We got a copy um, over. 
XP 42676. Listen, grits is not food, okay? Grits <laughs> and a fuck ton of butter, that's food. Plain yeah. <laughs> grits, ain't nobody gonna eat that shit. We don't even feed that to soldiers. That's how bad it is. People eat <laughs> oats, man. Grits, oats butter, and, and grits are not the same thing. Let me tell you something. Uh, grits are what would happen if the devil was like, how can I make oats worse? <laughs> That's you have not had good grits, my friend. I have had good grits. They involve a lot of butter. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you, so make sure you go into your character sheet and put. Oh, can you give me access to his sheet, please? I did. You did? I can't access. I can't edit it. Oh, I gotta do my skill fucking proficiencies too. God damn it! You're on the new family sheet. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Sorry. I see. Yeah. You have it. Like right? Another new Finley. There's other new Finley. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How well, many proficiencies do I get? Okay. So, basic barbarian will give you. Um. Let's see. You get light, medium, and shield proficiencies. Simple and martial. So. And and your saving throws are strength and con. Yeah, but I mean like. Uh, skill proficiencies. How many do I check there? It'll depend on uh, your race and your class. Yeah. So as a human, you don't get anything for right. normal. And also normal. your background. Yeah. You're gonna. Yeah. We'll we'll get there. We'll get there. So, yeah. Um. Uh. So yeah. So you get to choose from the from two: animal handling, athletics, intimidation, nature, perception, or survival. Choose two. Yeah. Choose two. Keep in so, mind your background can also give you the same one, so you can always come back and swap it later. But well, I would think athletics, right? Yeah, athletics is good. Uh, uh, nature is also probably pretty good as a barbarian as well. I would think. Um. So actually, sorry, survival is good as a bubber. Or acrobatics. Acrobatics is dex. So uh, no, you don't get you don't get it in the um. No, sorry, it's it's only athletics you get. You don't get acrobatics. Ah, okay. Uh, survival, I guess. Yeah, that'd be pretty survival's good. Survival's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, so now, what else do you get? So the next is. You get to pick your primal path. Right, uh, which is going to be uh, Path of the Berserker. Mm -hmm. I'll just set up oh, your I'm armor real quick. Just going for that triple um, hit. So, unarmored defense. Going for oh, a Ochi Finley uh, damage <laughs> output, huh? Okay. Well, I, I, get, I get unarmored defense just like level one, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just setting it up in your sheet so it okay, ah. can so that's dex plus your con, which is good. Yeah. So you get your 15 AC right now. Um, Honestly, uh, Finley, I recommend wearing half plate until your unarmored defense gets above what half plate will give you. Can I start with half plate? I thought we. Um, we I don't think so. We're pretty much just start with a fig leaf over us, right? Under the mountain. Uh, yeah. You get a great axe or any martial weapon or two hand axes and simple weapon. Yeah, or an axe. Yeah. Well, we don't, we don't start with any armor, right? No. You start with your starting you, you start off with what your starting equipment is. It's basically um, time dilation PUBG. We're just fighting 100 versions of ourselves. Yeah, I've always <laughs> wanted to find like armor that is soul bound because I always have to go yeah. and buy my half of my full plate armor or whatever. The only armor I've ever come across that was soul bound was also cursed. All right, so I'm gonna uh, do uh, two hand axes for my weapons. So two hand axes and a simple weapon. That's no, it's get. or a simple weapon. I can either get two. I can either start with two. Oh hand axes yeah, no, yeah. It's each of us. I always get that shit confused. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would, I would take the great axe over two hand axes personally. No, 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 no. Three, three I, I get, I get a great axe, two hand axes, and an explorer's oh, pack, and okay. Yeah. Four javelins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four javelins. So let me put those. Let's see. Yeah, you gotta be able to eat. 
Uh, okay. I'll help you with that. Wait, what are you putting in? Your weapons. Oh, uh, okay. It's pissing me off. And javelin? Was the other one? Yeah, javelin. Well, here, put that down in range weapons, right? Fucking shit. Uh, yes, you're right, 100%. And that would use... Is javelin strength, or is that dex? It can be strength. Aren't all ranged weapons dex? Nope. No? no. no. Nope. My hammer, for mm. example, is strength. It depends on the... It's weapon dependent. I think if you shoot it, it's dex. If you throw it, it's strength. It's a loose rule. I can't remember exactly, but. Uh. Alright, so great axe is 1d12. Wow, this is pissing me off. Roll 20 is really getting on my nerves. Yeah, the compendium stuff is so weird. Well, no, not even that. It's not letting me toggle my. for my. Um, Proficiencies from like my state proficiencies, it's not letting me check the box. Oh, I click the box, it does nothing. I've already refreshed the page and everything. I don't know what to do. It's just annoying. Let's see what it's oh, and I actually have fast, uh, so my speed is actually 10 feet faster because I'm not wearing heavy armor. Correct. Nice. Yep. You moved off. That's cool. I just want you to know the chat agrees with me that grits are fucking devil's food. Grits are not the devil's food. <laughs> I've never had grits either. I, I had never had grits until I moved to the south, and I had grits when I moved to the south, and they were they were good. Now they there are bad good. grits. There are bad grits for sure. I've had bad grits. But they're also really good fucking grits. Too. Is it like it's ground up corn? What is wrong with that? So it is corn. I thought it, I thought for some reason it was like potato something. Imagine like that. corn that has been turned Damn into it. a white paste. Hmm. Uh, drummer boy, you know polenta. You know what polenta is? Yeah, it's, it's a flavorful bucket. version of grits. It's the same thing. <laughs> Except polenta it, it tends to have a more solid texture, and grits are yeah. creamier. Yeah, well, polenta grits is like, are also white. Polenta is, is like a yellow cornmeal color. type of stuff that you cook in like some sort of correct or liquid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you salt the fuck out of it, and you throw some butter on there, and some seasoning, and yeah, then you've got polenta. I'm gonna do that. Some uh, I inherited some quinoa from my sister-in-law, so I'm gonna polenta that. I'm sorry for her passing. So you many... inherited it. Yeah, well they they moved <laughs> they moved back to Ontario, so I inherited their entire pantry. <laughs> and a couch and the office chair. That's not how inheritance works, but I understand what you're saying. <laughs> well how how else you got gifted? Uh, gifted. Okay, so Spooty, right now you have two ability score improvements or two feats. <clears throat> I also have like two jars full of bacon grease. So feeds would yeah. probably be the way to go, don't you think? Uh, yes. Atomic, what oh. is uh, what is a good feat for? I mean, um, Warcaster, and then half the dick. What level of so warlock? <laughs> you're playing because you're playing. You're playing berserker. You're gonna want to get. Oh God, I can't remember what it's called. And it's essentially power attack. Oh yeah, fast great, 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 great weapon fighter fighting. I think. It's the one great you take. Weapon master. Yeah, great weapon master. That's the one you want. And then the uh, other one, I probably turn, put when strength. you score a critical hit with a melee weapon or reduce the character to zero hit points, no, you can make the, one additional one. melee attack with a bonus that's, action. That's not the one. There's a, there's a one that's like power attack. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. This one. I'm, I'm looking through them right now. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean. Dual wielder would probably be good since I have two yeah. hand axes, right? No, no, you know, but great weapon, must uh, sorry, uh, your great axe, which is your main weapon, is yeah, two hand because 
Yeah, you always gonna because you're a berserker when you're raging, you get an extra attack, I believe. Right, no, so, but I'm saying so I generally I'm going to be dual wielding two hand axes. So oh, I'm gonna play this okay. guy. So, so dual okay. wielder is I get a plus one bonus to AC when I'm wielding a melee, a melee weapon in each hand. I can use two weapon fighting even when one-handed weapons I'm wielding aren't light. I can draw or stow two one-handed weapons when I would normally only be able to draw or stow one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. So, yeah, I mean, that that just gives me a plus one bonus to AC right off the bat, so I'll take that. And then uh, what was the other one? Uh, there was... If you're going two weapons... Um... You could take tough, which would be good for you. Um, the other one you could take is like, um, hmm. I guess the thing about dual wielder is you can use non light weapons. Right. That's really the only. So I can I can always, get yeah. you know multiple forms of even twice your level. When you gain the feet, I was just laughing because apparently. For, for, I just, so if I take tough right now, I would George, automatically I mean, increase it, my hit points everything. by sixteen points. Yeah, um, the and other then one, every time my HPs increase, I add two points to whatever I roll. Yeah, AP. Yep, that's I'm gonna do tough, tough and dual wield. Danny yes. Trejo is playing uh, uh, Animal Crossing and is giving out his Dota code on uh, Twitter. Oh, <laughs> that's... Uh, I hope he's ready to constantly be stuck in cinematics where it's uh, someone yeah, no, new yeah. is joining or leaving. <laughs> Did you see the Elijah Wood thing on Twitter? Yeah, yeah where oh, he yeah. joined somebody else's. Yeah. You see that guy was like, oh shit, Little Nas X sent me a message a year and a half ago on my Twitter DM and I missed it because Little Nas X was like, can I get a sample of that track you're working on? And Little Nas X replied to it saying, you done with it yet? He's <laughs> 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 still in it with bro. Yes. Hmm. I just want to see a Zoom call of like, like the basically the cast of the Expendables, like Danny Trejo... Uh, oh, alone and all these nope. people playing a set, playing a Animal oh Crossing. Animal Crossing. Yeah, so, uh, Zoom. there's uh, yeah, man. there's hang on, there's sorry, um, Spirity, there's durable, which is the one you took, I think. It's no, tough. Uh, okay, so you might want to take you might want to take durable because that'll give you extra con, which will put you over the period of giving you an extra save mod, and it'll also put you to eighteen. Uh, which is increase your constitution by yeah. one, putting you at 18. And when you roll a hit die to regain points, um, you regain just, from the roll uh, twice your constitution modifier. The right. minimum number is twice yeah. mm. it's up to you. No, I, I'm doing tough. I like tough. tough. Yeah. So I'm just fixing my, my hit points right now real quick. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually up to 90. That helps. And I get a plus one to my AC. How would I do that? How do I make that effective? Go to armor class? Go to armor? Yeah, yeah but you can't. No, I'll, 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 I'll do it. What do you need? You need to add. I just need a plus one to AC because I'm, I'm dual building melee okay, weapons. Gotcha. You can like you can make a uh, a name thing say Warren and give it one. Or you just bonus. put you just put. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Gotcha. All right. Well, but see oh, now it says Warren Armor is right. one. Oh yeah, there yeah, we go. Okay, I see. I see. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that works. All right. I think that's about it, right? So you can use um, any melee weapon that isn't. Two-handed, which is good for dual wielder. Previously, yeah, so you, you needed to have like, no, like yeah, 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 that have the light. So that's yeah. Cool. No, I can use any as a dual. Yeah, you can get you two, two long swords or whatever. 
just a minute. The, what the about... other alternative you could have is potentially if you wanted to have like the improved initiative one, which is like would also be like stupid good. Uh, um, I don't, I don't go for it now. If, I don't remember if it's all barbarians or just spare totem, but you might have advantage on initiative actually. Plus, yeah. you can also Check do like out. charger as well, which is fucking a good one. Which is when you use your action to dash like two moves. Um, if you move at least ten feet, you can do an attack at the end of it. Yeah. The thing about the which berserker really barbarian is you want as many attacks. You already get three attacks, I believe. Right. So yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm good. More now, right. now we need to do your back history backgrounds. Did you have anything, any idea what you wanted? Like just what ways? Who is Finley Longbottom? Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the age old question. Like what is your barbarian in your mind? Like he's a two handed dude. So what else? Yep. I'm Finley Longbottom. Is, Who? Is he a criminal? Is he an urchin? Is he I'm noble? more excited to hear what fucking voice Finley's sending to you. Ah, oh. oh man. I did human, so I don't have it's to. It's me, more. Finley Longbottom. She did human, yeah. so he doesn't I'm have to do a voice. I'm a human barbarian. Yeah. But when he around. fights, he just starts roaring instead. You know. You hang Rawr! around for a week. <laughs> it sounds I'm like so a cat. I'm so angry. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! What if you I've played Seinfeld with... the Barbarian? <laughs> I've been thrown. What is it with all of these? What is it with all these goblins? <laughs> What's, What's the, the deal, deal with all these orcs? Who do they think they are just coming over here to my God. coffee table? God. Where did you come from? Minnesota. Stuff. <laughs> um, which, which one of the bird ones is it? Kinku that can only do mimicry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've only seen one person do that and make it really, like, do it really well. At mercy. Do you want to be a gladiator? Yeah, I mean, I, I was just looking through the the. Like, there's a variant for the entertainer called the gladiator. It could be a gladiator a... or a madiator, yeah. or and that a gives sadiator. you animal animal handling and survival, and you could swap your survival that you currently have to something else. Yeah. Uh, it would also give you uh, tool proficiencies with vehicle land, so like you know you could drive the cart. Right. Um and. You would also get um, some common clothes, so you wouldn't be naked, as well as a shovel and a pot. I think you already and... get a set of clothes with your. Yeah, one hundred percent. You Back will stuff. start with the robe, so yeah, you, well, you will you not get, be yeah, naked, no matter, no matter. Listen, but I'm... it's it's character creation for an MMO. No matter what you try to do, you're never going to be naked, okay? Unless it's Conan. you've never played Conan Exiles. <laughs> okay, um, listen, yes. Sid Alpha gave me a Conan Exiles key, and I was just like, mm, this Dong Slider is very yeah. funny for about five minutes. But you also get, oh. um, you also get uh, <laughs> experience with the net and the trident. If you wanted to have that as your weapon, oh as well. yeah, you got to go full on the uh, full on gladiator on that one, man. Just go into the eye and eye file and break the dong sliders. Yeah, no, I, I like the gladiator. I like the gladiator thing. All Look, right, so, Andrew, the dong is my bludgeoning um, weapon. The, so <laughs> the dong break the dong sliders sounds so wrong. Uh, you get animal I'm... handling. And you also have survival. So that's track eight on Battle Juice, man. Uh, so now pick something barbarian. else besides survival. Yeah. So like, how about uh, perception? So, yeah, perception's free. Always perception. That. Always yeah. perception. Always get it. Never not. Right. Get it. Okay. I think you might have the highest perception in the group now. <laughs> <laughs> in my, uh, I'm not gonna take the awesome. trident and net though. That's yeah. well, you just have no, no, no. You don't get them as weapons. You just have proficiency in them. So oh. yeah. Uh, uh, so also you get 10 GP right now. Oh. Yeah, bitches. Where's my money? And I think that's it, right? Like, I don't think there's anything else. Um, I think that's it. All right, cool. We're good, Arthur. That's the All right. Party. Yeah, that's party. Yeah, I haven't finished mine on Roll20, but I've got it all done on D&D Beyond. So up under a mountain. Heck yeah. Uh... To answer a question for my guy, Taka Zilvia, uh Riverend does in fact have everything that she had just moments ago, but also has that wooden dagger with the silver paint on it hanging from her oh, belt. Oh shit! Nice. 
can she hold like a gold when we go into the crystal next? <laughs> that's that's a great question. And you know what? That's something you should probably experiment and try out with because people have been screaming in the comments for you guys to figure out how to exploit stuff forever. I gotta I mean, tell you, the other thing I see a lot of is people that are like, look guys, obviously the players need to side with the gods. The gods are the ones in the right here. They need to just kill Stalvin Black. And then there's another group of people that are like, no, obviously Stalvin Black is right. The gods are interfering with mortal players. And I'm like, I said this came up so that there were no right answers, that there's just two shitty sides and you have yeah. to pick which one's better. And the players have definitely made their choice. Fuck yeah. Stalvin Black. Despite my every attempt to be like, I'm Stalvin Black and I'm here to help you out for a small price. You know? Well, it it kind of went as far as like, I think DACA was the first one to really have a problem, like a big problem with him. And then I was just like, well, he's my friend. So yeah, fuck Stalvin yeah, Black. Fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fuck that guy. <clears throat> well, even, even Doc is like, now I want to hear both sides because like. Yeah, well, it's like it, now you've kind of learned that both sides are kind of dicks. So it's just like, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, he was, I was like, like I was like with? trying to figure out the right answer, and when he realizes there is no right answer, he's like, "Okay, well, shit." Correct. There is no yeah. right answer. Yeah. Correct. And I haven't seen the blue people. I've only heard Agram's weird ravings and like. Oh, Finley saw him too, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Finley yeah. hasn't told people about him. I don't think. Okay. Several of you have had prequel dreams. Yeah. yeah. That enough for it was our like next campaign. Character was standing there on a rotating thing, and there was. But despite how, and... despite how stone Daka is, he's no longer a drug addict. So don't just stop, Agron. Just stop. Look, he could out. stop anytime he wanted, and he did. I'm proud of him. Yep. He became. He became. <laughs> That's what the Gleemo coin is for. It's like your uh -huh. AA coin. Yeah. Uh. So Riverin, when you get up, Daka, she says, "Oh, you're finally awake." Been lying there for hours. No, I'm not doing that one. God hey, you. You're finally awake. Right. I wasn't. I wasn't attempting to do that at all. Stop. It doesn't matter. But you did anyway. Because because you're going gray. Yeah. When when you're ready and you step outside, all of you arrive in the darkness at the edge of a swamp. As per usual, you can see after several moments that there is a light shining in general throughout the forest, uh, and someone is moving in your direction, kind of. Yep. Weird dude. I think we're just gonna head on down to the to the town because that's the big. That's when we know how fucked up shit is in this town. Are we ever gonna to figure out who this guy is? He's an asshole wizard once. with a drug problem. He's a yeah. he's a changeling. Like it's not the person that we think he is, and he's afraid of. We well, don't know if he's a changeling, but he's definitely doing something to change his yeah. appearance, right? I mean, he's got plenty of magic stuff, so we we'll just assume he's doing some wizard fuckery. Yeah. Are you talking about him as he approaches? <laughs> no, I think I think we just we we always do what we always do. We just sort of move on. Call him Although, Mur and move on. If he tried but, to attack us, I could counter spell him now. But I mean, like I want to get an idea of what new Finley and what new new yeah. Agrim look like. So you are know? making an effort to not run into this guy and just loop around him and then head north towards uh, Flemia. Yeah. 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 Okay. A, yeah. You easily get around him. You know the exact path he's going to take towards you. Uh, you hear him mutter in the night and go, huh, but I heard something. Just the Most wind. Of the wind. Yeah, just <laughs> the wind. <laughs> Come on, yeah. guys. <laughs> oh, Look, it's hi, just Jack too, it's too applicable, man. <laughs> Could go Metal Gear Solid. Huh? What was that? I always love how, like... The Bert... thing my starting equipment is a box. <laughs> like, one of the, one of the, like requirements for guards and games is to have like asthma or constantly be coughing <laughs> so <laughs> as <laughs> as you all are walking together riverin uh just says well some of you look very different this happens what smells then i'll look at finley why are you looking at me I mean, this is a new side of you I haven't seen yet, and... We've all just woken up underneath a mountain. Trapes through a swamp. 
We're all gonna smell of shit. I mean, you're very human now. I'd, yeah, so I'd at that, when you say that, River is just like, yes, it's actually pretty hard to see. I kind of look down and I'm like... Well, you're also having well, trouble seeing because you're human now and you don't have dark vision. You can't see shit. 3 a.m. in the is, morning. Is I'm like, yeah, I'm like human? stumbling and tripping River over. River and Halfling. Halflings don't have dark vision. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, Someone so wants to... Could anyone... Uh... Shed a little light on the subject here. Yeah, I'll just I'll just pull my skill sword out of the scabbard a little bit. Uh, I mean, Riverin Riverin just like conjures light up and casts it on a branch and holds it up like a torch. She's she just does like, it on her like little dagger thing. Oh, I still have it. No, she does it on a on a stick. Okay. Um, well, and she says, okay. "Don't use your sword like that, Kelly. The light is inconsistent with the flames." I will. Lots of shadows. Like to, I'm going to walk over to uh, New Finley. I'm going to put my hand on his chest. I'm going to take my hand away. There's just a handprint, but it's glowing light. Like what does a, New uh, Finley look like? Um, so he's a dude still. Yeah. Um, I, I would say he's right, pretty much even six foot, barrel chested, um, kind of uh, curly, long reddish hair. Uh, with a light red, almost blonde uh, beard. He's strawberry uh, blonde. Tight the, yep, tight, tight to the face, not long. But um, yeah, he's got his his, his standard MMO robe uh, on. Uh, he's got a gray axe strapped to his back. Uh, he is carrying two hand axes almost constantly. Uh, it's very rare that they're sheathed. Um, so he has them out now as we're traveling. Yeah, I mean, look, so. Riverin's 100% into this. She she was raised on the double hand axe. Yeah. She, has, she and, doesn't uh, question your weirdly homicidal hand axe handling. <laughs> and uh, and he is a human, which is, is awkward for this party because... You hate humans. Even Finley has said that he hates humans, <laughs> so... And that's where is that where the something smells now came from? I didn't, oh, yeah, I didn't catch on to that until just this yeah. very moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Akram, what does the new Akram look like? So, uh, as a surprise to no one, um, it's still a dwarf because I've put myself into a corner. Um, <laughs> but uh, you've, been a, you've been a dwarf in every every time. Yeah. Every Myself and Atomic had a conversation over the past week and he was like dude check out these new cool stats i've got and then he's like and i'm like yeah but what race are you? he's like oh i'm dwarf because of the fucking weapon <laughs> <laughs> it's too good man it's too good okay. um though i do have a direction to go with him so I've, I've, I've worked it out it's fine um so instead of a uh a full uh you know, still dwarf, still about four and a half feet tall. Uh, instead of a uh, full head of uh, flowing white hair now, he's just got, um, still got kind of the, the, the white braids in the front, uh, maybe more of a gray, but he's just got this like long, like if you've ever seen like the show Vikings or any whatever, it's just like the braid at the top and then it goes all the way back and down. Um, it's kind of like a braided mohawk kind of thing. Um, so he's now wearing a uh, glinting chain mail that is um, covered in runes. And uh, his eyes have transitioned from yellow, as they were when he was had a bear spirit, to they're now kind of a, a silver, silverish color. Um, and he has a hood on. And then obviously still the um, the wonderful, uh, totally not Mjolnir, Mjolnir uh, in his hand that occasionally uh, pulses with a little bit of lightning. Um, so, I mean, familiar, but different in a way. So, Doc is also a little bit different. He's not like he used to have like dad arms. Now he's got skinny dad arms, but he's a little <laughs> thinner. So, so I, I, I'm sort of like idea. like you know the only one that really hasn't changed. And I, I, I sort of I look around and I was like, well, I I'm assuming that you answered our call, Agram, to come help us. But I'm a little confused about. Finley, I mean, why did, did were you asked to come? 
What do you mean was I asked to come? I've always been here. Uh, oh, I won't say more. Oh, well, thank you for joining us, both of you. It's so it's good timeline, Finley. <laughs> I've always been here. <laughs> so shall we proceed then? We've got a lot to cover in the next couple of days. I want to get over to what was that town? Flemia, one... Bondaract, but uh, no, the Lemia, one where the dude. The Which no, one? Which yeah, dude but... is the dude? Rorik. Uh, the, uh, uh, not Rorik. The, <laughs> the guy that um, is in the. Oh, you're talking about the count. The count, yeah. Count Bondarak mm -hmm. is in Bonder. No, no. No, Count Wondersaw. Oh, Vice yeah. Wondersaw? Vice Wondersaw. No, not Vice Wondersaw. It wasn't oh. Wondersaw. It was... A guildmaster. Uh, Rise... Oh, Rise, Rise. Rikalunder. Yes, he's yeah. he's in Rikalunder Village. Yeah, because uh, that's where we told everyone to, to meet up. Correct. Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah. we're trying to meet to the rally point. All right. Fair enough. Yep. Um, but yeah, so the idea was is that we he was supposed to have enough information to like hopefully start making shitloads of money. So um, you know, I mean that that's his whole point. That was the whole point of having right Reese come in yeah. and help oh, us. Yeah, you're right. Um, so getting to that point would be really useful because then we could outfit our new companions with better gear and have them all set up and stuff like that the new companions also, you don't currently have uh spooty you you still have all the weapons that were magically attached to you correct you... oh yeah what i think you had a you had a sword i want to say i don't know if you got rid of it i can't remember what you had now i think uh let's see no yeah i got rid of the i got rid of that sword all i have is the staff of the python which is pretty... you should have had two other items on you still i think you had a ring of protection as well uh you to check your old shoot i think we all had a ring of protection at this point right except for me i don't need them but i don't I'm not showing I always need them. <laughs> I don't have ring of protection. Yeah. I have cloak of protection. Oh yeah, uh, ring, of, ring of protection. Yeah, I have. So if you had a staff of a python, you no longer have it. Of what? The staff of the python. It can only be attuned by a cleric druid or. Oh, okay, so that's gone. So yeah, I just yeah, had the it's gone. ring. So I need to add that because that gives me another AC. Mm -hmm. You just add it to your armor section now. Yep. Um, is that all he had? I'm pretty sure he had a third. Mm -mm. I had some kind of uh, scimitar of speed or something. I yeah, that's right. Yes, that's what it was. Yeah, I thought but you got I, rid of it. I got rid of it. Yeah, it was like Did a we... dagger or something, something. Something. And I can't remember why. I'm pretty sure we sold them for something. Yeah, that might have been it. I don't remember what we bought though. I can't either. We bought so oh, many matter. things. We we. we we're we've reset so we're good um mm. but yeah the ac you definitely have the yep AC. so i'm up to 17 on armored ac right now fucking hell dude yeah that's good that's well good shit. uh after a few hours of walking you find yourselves on the outskirts of flemia around this time and to gut us appears in the material plane realm Oh, kind of starts good. walking behind Agram. Mm. So you can see the sun rising over Flemia. Uh, you know that there are guards there waiting and watching for people exactly like you. So I guess we um, go up and hail them. All right. Yes. One of the guards calls down and says, Ah, uh, who are all of you? you? He turns and he speaks to Finley and says, uh, "What what are you doing here?" Just passed through town. What's your business? Uh, Nanya. What's Nanya? Nanya business. Like the guy next to him was like, "That oh, was pretty funny, right?" And he like hits him in the chest. He's like, "It's not funny." We're the town guard. <laughs> like, 
We're not I, going I to open this gate until you tell us your business. And no oh. more funny tricks or anything. I, I like lean into uh, Finley. I was like, that was good, but just just say uh, we're looking for shelter. We're just looking for shelter. You have coin? How much? I was led to believe that this had a church here of some description. That would that the would two of them look towards each other and there's some nodding and he says, All right. We're gonna have to send someone with you just to make sure you don't do anything weird, but it's the harvest. So don't do anything unusual, okay? We're opening the gates now. And the guy who who, who was with the speaker comes down off the palisade and opens the gate and just like, hi, uh, hello, all hello. of you. Just, um, if you're looking for the church, come with me. It's, uh, we already start heading that way. Yep. It's minutes. just across that Which short bridge over there near the river. And, uh, you know, the, the innkeeper is also the priestess, Liliana. It's a well wind. Mm hmm. You're, so okay. we're in that timeline, huh? All you're right. you're all like right. all nodding, and he's like, "Okay, so you already know this." Uh, hey, listen, I don't suppose you've heard anything about um, kobolds recently? Uh, oh yeah, no. There's a there's a green one just over there, about two days travel. There's a big group of them. Uh, they are the ones that are actually holding hostage a human female. I mean, Maria. Something about. I think that was what. Where did they, where, he, he's like super excited and he's like halfway to running away and he's like, wait, where did you where did you learn this information? Uh, but slowly moving his hand towards his sword. Don't worry about it, friend. Basically, we heard it from some kobolds that were passing us on the way through. Make a deception check. Can I? If, like. I was just say right before. Oh, uh, well, here's what, I, well, what I wanted to do is, uh, if if I see he's bullshitting this guy, I want to. I mean, I want to hit him. I want to hit uh, Kelly with a like, guidance. All right. So and look, we're not machine. doing this critical role style. Guidance is a verbal spell. You have to is like it? say okay. a prayer. I guess it is verbal. Before you, like you know, you have to be like the father protect you or something like that. Although not for Wellwyn, because Wellwyn is not, she's not your father. Yeah. Mm. He's your mama. Daddy protect you. <laughs> but you My have to say something like, you know, like uh, you, you will find what you uh, are looking for. Sure. Like fortune cookie wisdom, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a divination, you know, I get it. Uh, what do you say guidance. when you no. start your guidance? And just I so it's clear, it. it's obvious when you're casting guidance. Yeah, well, yeah, it's obvious, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do it. All right, I'll just roll them. Because this guy, this, this guard's already on edge. 15. All right, 15. 15. Yeah, he totally, completely buys, but is partially a lie. Uh, and he says, okay, talk to some kobolds. All right. I'm sorry. Look, uh, 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 he's like looking at you like he knows he has yeah, to escort you like, and then he keeps I'm looking towards the field I'm literally and he's like alright look just stay right here don't move I have to go talk to Rorik and then he starts like dashing off and he's just like Rorik Sir Rorik he's like so it seems like we're in the fucked up timeline so that's a way certainly to seems that way Oh my god. <laughs> New Anchor <Acre> talking. <laughs> Certainly seems that way. What, is there oh, something we... funny that I'm saying? <laughs> you know what? Why are I, you I all looking at me like that? <laughs> I turned to Finley and I'm just like, You're all right, human Finley. <laughs> <laughs> but he smells. <laughs> oh my god, you're dying. <laughs> Look, you, 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 you definitely get used to the smell of a human male after a while. Don't worry about that. I'm still not used to it, and it's, it's my body. It's been a while. I've been told that um, generally soap and perfume helps. We'll just get uh. you a nice unwashed pelt, and you'll smell just like yourself again. <laughs> oh, God. That, that, that. That's that's old Finley's uh, fragrance. It's nudity, definitely. <laughs> oh, Finley's fragrance. 
Do you wait here for the guard to return, or do you keep heading to your destination? I think of course we don't wait. No, why would we wait? All right, you. Daco would like step forward and like see everyone else is waiting. Like, I guess we're following the law this time. Being polite. <laughs> well, it sounds like Agram isn't following the law. Agram keeps going. I mean, we've got stuff I'll... to do. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I'll let everyone go. I'll stay here. I'm the one that told the lie. I don't want to make any more trouble than what it's worth. So. Okay. Daka just wants to see what timeline they're actually in, whether it's like, whether it's the, the inn or the it's church. An inn. It's an inn, not a church. Okay. okay. I mean, the inn is consecrated as a church in this timeline, but it's not the sex temple from the other timeline. No one wants to the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got cool silver eyes now. You might get lucky in this timeline. Yeah. Uh, let's cut to the three of you entering. Uh, well, sorry, it's more than three of you. It's four of you because Riverin's with you. Um, mm -hmm. Liliana turns and says, "Oh, uh, travelers. <laughs> cool. Well, I don't suppose you're with the adventuring guild or anything. W welcome to Flemia. Can I get uh, you anything? Uh, breakfast, a drink? Well, we don't." We don't have any coin on us, do we? Yeah, we do. No, I do. You should we have, have like, whatever starting coin that you have. It should everyone be like, should have about ten to five gold pieces. It's ten to fifteen, depending, depending on yeah, depending on your. Then, yeah, then Doc will get both him and River in a meal. Okay. So uh, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna make a new version of the group inventory. The party. Um, and here's what I'll do. I'll get rid of everything else because we're not gonna have anything. Yeah. Now. Yeah, we're at the um, point where we pretty much get rid of everything. So I will. So everyone starts with ten GP. I'm pretty sure. So we have between us yeah, sure. forty gold pieces. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. Uh, yeah, I start with ten. Mm -hmm. Uh, Riverin has like fifty gold pieces and a handful of silver on her. Okay, wow. so that's like. So we'll just. Do you want to call it an even hundred? Oh, she does not add it to your inventory. No, <laughs> that, okay. uh, yeah, that's her money. money. <laughs> Fine. Um, fine. So she plus, keeps all the she keeps all the money that we lost. When we all right. Remember, so uh, because the, it's been so it. long, AP, remind me what uh, faith uh, Liliana is of. Liliana is a cleric of Whirlwind. Okay. Well. Wellwind, yes, and you are also yeah. a cleric of Wellwind now, correct? Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I um, mean, cause... you recognize in a way that you haven't before now that, like, yeah. set into the walls at certain points are, like, reliefs carved in of whirlpools mm -hmm. and of a spiral. Um, like, she's wearing some heraldry of Wellwind. It's nothing pretentious or anything. It's just, like, sewn into her dress in a way that mm -hmm. looks totally normal. Um, yeah, I mean, she... Are you wearing anything like a holy yeah, symbol? Yeah, I've, I've got, I've got, I've got an amulet, but um, because Wellwind's what leadership, strength, justice. Yes. You know? Um. So, uh, because I took the inspiration, I kind of just as an example, I kind of have. She's also the like, god of fear and leadership. So. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like so because he's more of the, like the strength part of, aspect of that. It's. Yep. I mean, it's a shield with two cross axes, but in the middle, it still has that whirlpool. Okay. Um. Um. So yeah. Daka, when you pull out coin, she says, no, no coin here. Not for a brother of the faith and his we'll companions. Give a, All right. give her a, she'll give her a, a Guys, a remember when I was a cleric now. and every door was open? Welcome to easy mode again. <laughs> well, it's only, so it's only, it's only for, um, if they're the same faith as I am, it's shelter of the faithful, I believe. Yeah. So they have to be well in order to get those benefits. I mean, look, but, you're not going to be treated like shit for being a holy person. Like, you're, yeah. unlike other adventuring classes, you're always going to be welcome pretty much everywhere. Uh, I mean, you can heal the sick, and if someone, like, breaks yeah. their leg, you can set it using magic in an instant. So, you know. <laughs> oh, man, no one turns away a doctor. <laughs> this guy died, revivify, but instead of just whatever, it's like two, just do my fist. <laughs> Bring him back to life. Okay. Yeah. Um, Clear! yeah Pretty so much. she draws up um not just like a glass but like jugs of uh like apple juice like apple cider it, it, maybe mm. it's like slightly alcoholic you know a little fermented um yeah. and l plates of potatoes and eggs keep in pile actually as much as you can eat 
uh, and Riverin just car like a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> burning well, she's it all just going, going yeah. to town. Oh, she she's growing, right? I mean, you know, gotta get them calories. Well, we also no, no, don't... she's a young adult now. We also don't uh, have any know, idea how long we actually sleep when we die, and Correct. she's outside of this. True. Thing, so. I mean, we've always woken up super hungry, so mm. You're coming, uh, coming back to life, <laughs> it really takes it out of you. Yeah. So Liliana says, "So, well, what has you passing through the area? Heading up to." adventuring guild ah in the capital yeah yes we have some business to attend to not members were going to apply you look the sort that's what everyone says everyone kept saying it so we decided maybe it should be just maybe it should be soon yeah, four individuals in various non-uniform with weapons and magic yeah do look we like need it. to make a battle juice uniform <laughs> So around this no, time, we, just have a, we have a battle juice patch no, that we sew onto our. The robes. battle juice uniform is the white robe, guys. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we just we just sew the patch oh onto the robe. Oh my god! Man. Yes, I wear the robe like a tabard over the chainmail. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna be that cosmetic armor that you. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, you you've probably seen it a bunch of times. Where it's like you get like leather and chainmail, and then they've got like the tabard over it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah! I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Yeah. It's battle juice, and then where there would be days is just question mark, question mark, question mark, dash, question mark, question mark, question mark. Sam Crow. <laughs> Kelly, at this time, uh, Rorik comes riding up to you on a horse, and the messenger is like exhaustively chasing behind him. He's like, ah, oh yes. <laughs> Rorik is like, my name is Rorik. I am Hello. the leader of this town. You have information about Maria Hale and her location with the green kobolds, is this correct? I do. And you have heard this from the kobolds themselves. They are quite stupid creatures. They took me as one of their own. Very well. He tosses you a bag. I thank you, stranger. If your information should check out, return to my estate and there will be more coin for you. And uh, the thanks of might a weary... Might I add, there is... Uh the trouble of the fake wall that she will be behind a fake wall mm -hmm. they you were well informed indeed traveler no oh, they were very eager to tell me about their ingen ingenious design of a wall made out of mud that may i ask your name as a whole you may my name is kelly oh very and well. uh kelly it is, might I add, a pleasure to see you again. Have we met before? I'm sorry, I don't recognize you. I, perhaps we served together in the war. It's been some time. You serve with many Dragonborn? Uh, honestly, I can't say I've seen one before. It is all right. It is merely tales of your heroism that I've heard of. I see. Uh, I, I say that with like you know yeah. a little raise of the eye. Yeah. So like he's like I'm. His face turns dark and he says I'm surprised to hear that. But I suppose once I was quite a different man. I apologize. I must ride out to see if your information is true. They won't be expecting you. Uh, be warned though, there is a ritual they're attempting to do. So make haste. I see. So he turns to his guard and he says, lock down the town. This traveler may leave. No one else can enter or go. When I return, we will ride out one way or another, whether it is to war with the kobolds or whether it is to war with the north, one way or another, we're going somewhere. And find the hail blacksmith. Let him know that his daughter could be alive. And Rurik heroically sits off with his horse, riding into the distance, Don Quixote style. Goes off in like the top of the hill. There's like top a of a rock. Yeah, <laughs> the, the horse top. rears up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He has a sword and a flash of light. <laughs> uh, so Kelly, you enter the bar at about the time that people are piling through eggs and potatoes. I sit down next to them, and it's like. I just like look. I I, I like kind of go to Agrim's plate, and I just sort of like 
down the middle with a spoon and slide it into another plate. <laughs> Liliana brings you over a fresh plate with some hard cider. And says, uh, welcome, traveler. Sorry. Normally I would have better fare ready, but with the harvest, I'm preparing a larger lunch. It's quite all right, Liliana. It's good to see you again. And I start eating. Um, I'm sorry. Have we met before? Are you really going to do this with every single character? <laughs> I mean, I've done this enough. <laughs> where, like, I always like, I always, I always just brush it off as like, uh, don't pay me any mind. It's uh, just how I introduce myself. I see. Well, well, you probably got to know her pretty well when the three-year oh, yeah. time gap. Oh but... yeah. Oh yeah. I know you probably know a bunch yeah. better. Than... And there was like that timeline where she was like the Bang Princess of the island, you know, yes. like. So yeah, we the know. Bang. Listen, <laughs> you 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 make it so crude. <laughs> it's literally a. It's a sacred prostitute. <laughs> Look, there are several historical religions where. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, man. Even in the Bible, those Asherah poles, they were giant dicks, basically. <laughs> and people were like screwing, screwing prostitutes and hoping it would rain. And the rain, you know, the rain it is like, it's like getting busy on the ground, hoping God would see it get busy so rain would happen. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, you all are set for a few days of travel, of course, and you've got some coin. Um, Riverin is excited to see the town again, because of course she was born here. Mm. I think at some point she's like looking outside and sees her mother, and is just like, oh, yes, her. I think I remember her. Vaguely. I remember her quite well. Dogger just keeps eating, trying to like bury his emotions in food. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions about your birth mother, I'll be happy to answer them for you, River. No. Thank you. That kind of disappoints me a little bit, but I understand. I remember her. She does not remember me. That gap is too painful. I just think they remember you last episode saying that you died. <laughs> Is this the new one? New version has like, he has a wallet, a soulbound wallet with pictures of his Well, no, like he, he remembers all of this, but like it's people that he knows and loves, even in past timelines, don't know him. Hmm. So he just like prefers to deflect. Uh, I wonder if Riverin is picking up I'm going to make a roll <laughs> they say if you don't know roll it. find out nope she, not, not happening yep Riverin does not have the emotional intelligence yet to determine your moods and simply keeps eating Then, with her mouth full of eggs, she says, what's the plan? Well, I think we need to head on over and meet up with the rest of our companions as soon as possible. Mm. They, the especially, especially now, will be very confused. And we might even have to go rescue Hag. Right. We should, after we get our companions, we should go back to Magmar I, and the Adventurers Guild to try and get the Grand Master on our side. That is a good idea. And it would be great to outfit our companions a little better. I noticed that Finley is lacking in some of the items that we've painted Actually, attempted to acquire. This is a the, little chilly. They'll look around at the inn and be like, scratch that. This is the wrong timeline for him. Maybe we'll check anyway, see if there's anything that's Notice be different. Who? Which one? In this timeline. No, no. This Dalton is the Black. timeline with the adventure. This is the normal timeline. Yeah, in this timeline, Stalvin Black is leader of the Adventure Guild. No. So I'm going it's to yet. explain to you what happened. 
uh, when Finley switched his background out to not have a fake guild ID card anymore. Mm. The the previous guild master never went on. Well, he never found the listing of all of you in the ruins, and so mm. he never became the guild master officially. And he, well, he did, but he retired several decades ago. And Stalvin Black is the current guild master under several guises. He's several members of the adventuring guild's leadership, just using illusions. Mm. Right. I wonder if there's a way that we can manipulate that now that we know. <laughs> <laughs> How do we break this? Well, let's get another background going. We need to go get the fake ID key item and then die again. <laughs> the master key so that we can go to the, uh, we can skip uh, Blight Town. You know, that'd be good, yeah. right? <laughs> well, Daga has been in that room before. If it's, the, if it's the same room that was in the other one, like the top Which of the room are we room? talking about? The top the of the tower room with like the st or like Correct. that's where you the, have been there before. The teleportation circles are, but like oh. there's also a room with gear in it, right? Yes, there is an the armory room? beneath the Grandmaster's uh, chambers, and we have been in there because we got items last time. Correct, all mm -hmm. true. So Daku would be able to dimension door in there. All <laughs> true. You actually don't even need to dimension door. Oh. You could actually use your planar walk to get there. You wouldn't be able to leave for a week, but or for 10 days but you could get there with the whole party are we are we are we going through with oceans 11 is that what we're doing that sounds i'm like i'm, I'm, like, I'm just I'm like, we, get in so the adept, we get so adept at doing this timeline stuff like the dimension door opens and an arm comes out grabs a book goes back in <laughs> yeah like well, okay <laughs> dr strange <laughs> beyonce everybody knows beyonce stolen blacks <laughs> in there looks like listen to beyonce yeah, he came to our universe to come get some of our superior culture music. Yeah, yeah. He he only has eight track though. <laughs> it's called a Zune. It's real popular back oh, on God. Earth. Dude, it's got hundreds of songs Zune. on. Hundreds of songs. <laughs> I had a fucking. That was Zune, some dude. genius. I also had a Zune. I can't wait for Guardians of the Galaxy three for the Zune to be a key item throughout that whole movie. Oh, man. <laughs> I really, I really hope they don't. See. I really hope they don't do Star Lord dirty with with fucking Thor being in there. Oh my god! It's as Guardians be... of the Galaxy, man. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I, I wonder which one. Are you like... imitating me? <laughs> Love and Thunder's coming first, right? Yes. Yeah. So it might. Well, I mean, it's hard to say now that Disney has been playing games in right. pushing everything back. Right. But yes, Thor four, I believe, is scheduled first. Yeah. Hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 took a step back because they fired James Gunn over the decade old tweet, which he then apologized right. for. Then and the then whole James... cat he was he spent the whole time instead of being defensive, he was just like, Yeah, I'm sorry, like that was a different person. Then the whole cast, including Batista, he was literally like, Fuck that shit, I will follow my con contractual obligations, and then I'm out of Disney forever. You yeah. done James Gunn dirty. And Disney was like Ten seconds later, James Gunn is back, bitch. Yeah. We're never losing Batista's contract. Yeah. Man. You work for us now. You're on the house so of mouse. How far how far away can you be for the dimension door to work? Eight hours. Uh no, oh, hours sorry, away. dimension door. Yes. Dimension it's like door is sixty some, feet. Sixty feet. Uh I'll tell you one second. So I'd need to be like You'd need to be inside the tower in order. Yeah. Getting in what? the tower isn't difficult. Yo, right? Dimension door is five hundred feet. I might, I might bring my BFF, it's Dragonborn lady, with us. Oh dang! So the, the thing, the, the thing about Dimension <laughs> Door is you have to like you could do. You can get really cheeky with it because it's five hundred feet in any direction, so you can go diagonal up, down, left, right, left, right. Yeah. Down all around. Yeah. It just has, it just has to yeah. be a place you can visualize, but you could go like. 500 feet straight down or you know yeah. like it even describes it you know i, I would like Yo, to go upward to the northwest at 45 might degree angle be there, feet. You like you can saying? do some really weird shenanigans with oh. dimension door oh fuck! If you can visualize it you can get there we could get because the uh, the soulbound items appear in the world again the, we don't know if they'll like if they'll be in the same place 
No, they are. Two yeah, hammers. We could we could get Pag oh to get that god. box, dude. Oh my god, get two hammers. It's be hilarious. Yeah, it's true. Well, we all right. We need to get back yeah. to so, people. First. Yeah, so we'll so I guess we'll Figure what we'll stay the night here, then we'll leave in the morning or something. Yeah, I believe that's the correct course of action. If the rest of us are allowed to leave because Kelly can leave, but yeah, you'll you'll all be allowed to leave with Kelly. Okay. Um. So when you say that you're going to stay the night, uh, Liliana says, I have no problem with you staying the night, but perhaps you could help me with a few chores. Gladly. Name Does that give us a discount on our rooms? I would, I would not charge someone not, I'm sheltering. It's not costing us something. That's I why just she's ask, just asking if we can help out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, she gives you some tasks like running water out to the workers, letting them know, you know, like when lunch is ready, chopping, chopping wood. wood. Help you <laughs> with the uh, Basically, like doing a deep cleaning of the facility. Sure. Uh, to digitate. To digitate the whole building. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you finish the chores up in less than an hour, and you have after, the rest of the day to explore the, the after rustic. After the food's all gone, like he'll just like instead of like c gathering them up to take him over to a sink, he's just like, boom, and then like also the room is also clean. <laughs> uh, Liliana Cox and I and says, I appreciate your work, Master Magician. It's been some time since we have had a wizard here. The tower north of town has been turned into a guard post, but still used. Mm. There are some who say it's haunted. Quite an adventure to explore. You wouldn't happen to know anyone that'd be willing to part with a wagon, would you? There are several wagons in town available to purchase. Uh, speak with George Rancher. There is a... <laughs> there is a general store. The just next door. George Rancher. Everyone calls him Jolly, though. Is that the guy who tried to sell Finley a bunch of oxen? <laughs> that is correct. Oh, fuck that guy. No, he'll try and sell me a bunch of oxen. Yeah, we don't need I'll just go to the now. general store. Thank okay. you. We just get, like, like diagonal wipe, and there's, like, blood on the wheel of the of the carriage, and, like, back in the field, there's two axe wounds, and the guy's... Yeah. <laughs> when did George Rancher get a new scarecrow out in the fields? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> By the way, Arthur, did my incubus husbando follow me across time? You have no idea. You haven't been able to, he, like, he hasn't appeared to you yet. Uh, you have some, okay, you do have a soul link with him because you're technically married now at a, at a <laughs> fundamental level. He is he's present. He's not on your plane, but he is alive and present. I, s I send him a, you know, new phone who dis with a winky face. It's not. That is beyond the extent of your capabilities. Um, he's, he's just in the in his plane, like lying, lounging on a rock, wondering if you're thinking of him. Yeah, and then he gets, and then he gets like a, and he checks his phone, and it's just like a new number with a winky face. It's like, Peach emoji. Oh my god! Eggplant, 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 eggplant. sweat. Yeah. You enter. The general store. Who's going with you? Anybody or okay. just you? I'll go. Okay. I, I walk up and I'm just like, good man. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm are here you looking... for a wagon. Uh, I, I have a wagon. I also have a chariot. And you seem to be a learning customer. A wagon. We have many things that we need to bring do you have an animal or shall i uh, have one acquired for you i have an animal very well you require um we have a gygax but do you have bit and bridle uh, a saddle or just the wagon then just the wagon please. God, this town always with the upselling <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something i'm currently in the process of buying a car I fucking feel that in my bones right now. <laughs> Every time they're on the phone with me, they're like, before you go into financing, would you like to talk about how you're going to pay? And I'm like, 
No, I'll talk about that with the financing person. It's none of your business. This is the third time you've asked me. (laughs) Would you like some mud flaps? I hear they're all the rage. (laughs) Oh, I don't. Um, he says, uh, well, wagons, 35 gold pieces. Problem for gentlemen like yourself. I I sort of like look at him as like, can you really not tell the difference between a female dragon and a male dragon? Sorry, what? Oh my good. My apologies. Uh, no, uh, you're right. Um, I'm I'm totally, totally not uh, insulted by this whatsoever. Uh, but I tell you what, I will do. I will just take my business elsewhere. Make, make a performance check <laughs> uh, with advantage. <laughs> if I'm here, can I try and I want to see who through his bullshit? Because even I'm confused. Like... <laughs> make an insight check and see if you can beat the performance check. All right. You don't get advantage. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna like rat him out necessarily. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck he's on about yeah. or she's on about. Uh, Look, that's all our gold. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm on. Oh about. no, I know. <laughs> I'm just. I'm, I'm just trying to. Oh, uh, okay. I don't see shit. I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm just confused. I'm like fourteen. Okay. So. Um... Wait, sorry. That's Finley's page. Holy yes. fuck! I'm super sorry. Hang on. Let me take. You a rolled look. an eleven. So what's your bonus? Uh, my performance is three. Okay, so that's it's a fourteen. Yeah. Um, he says, "My listen, no need to go anywhere else. I apologize. I have not seen many dragons like you. In fact, this is the first time I've ever. And you know, I was just telling my daughter that if I ever saw a dragon." I would give them five gold off their next purchase. They're 30 gold pieces for a wagon. That's a real bargain. And what's the going rate for wagons? That's 35. 35. That's 35. 35. 35 is the actual route. Mm-hmm. So he says, mm-hmm. all I would ask is your permission to say that I had a dragon solicit my humble establishment. My name is Kelly. Uh, this I'm is gonna, my I'm favorite gonna, store I, in the Citadel. Uh, where um, it is customary for dragons to mark the store when asked. So where would you like me to leave my mark? Oh, uh, uh, right above the entranceway, if you would, please. So I write, Kelly was here <laughs> with me now. <laughs> In what language? Drag, draconic, obviously. He says, such a, an incredible language. So fascinating. There's such a beauty to it. And you allow me to throw uh, a barrel of wheat and a chicken in. Well, consider the insult forgotten, my good man. We will do this deal. Okay, so uh, you have a wagon with no bit and bridle and no, like, there's no way to attach Gygax to it. Uh, One... One... We'll just get a rope and he'll just like, sort of. Sure. He's uh, one barrel so... of wheat and uh, one chicken. So you're not going to be able to move at full speed. Last time you had to get a custom bridle and saddling made uh, for him oh and Gondorak. But uh, yeah, like you'll be able to move at like three quarter speed. Mm, so you got down. you have ten pounds of wheat in a barrel and one live chicken. Get eggs. Eggs in the morning. Well, they don't just automatically make eggs. You know that, right? Like, <laughs> eggs don't just pop out of chickens for no reason. Well, well sure they do. Where do you think it's eggs fine. come from? Chickens who've recently had sex. What? No, that's not even no, remotely what? true. What? <laughs> you don't even need to have a rooster to have eggs. No, really? They just, they just do it. Like yes. That. They, That's shocking they, rooster, to me. they literally lay eggs and less... fertilize an egg. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unless it's like uh, you can uh, tell, I did not grow up on a farm. Unless it's like unbearably cold for that style of chicken, or if they're too old or too young, they just they'll lay, literally lay an egg like every day. Yeah, Very yeah. Well. every well, day. Like they'll lay, they'll lay two sometimes. Yeah, sometimes they'll lay more than one. Which is why it's <laughs> such a tragedy to throw away all those chickens because you're killing literally four, like four million, to eight million chickens. Eggs. Yeah. 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 Where I, I lived in Alabama was they there's a big Tyson plant there, so it was just. 
chickens fucking everywhere. So yeah. you went your whole life, Arthur, thinking that for every egg there was one chicken, one rooster? No, I assumed that a rooster would just bag a chicken and they pop out eggs for like a month or something, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> guys. I didn't grow up on a farm. That, that the, rooster, the rooster is just like just like i dr- thought that's why every chicken farm a had a like a large number of I, chickens and one rooster because he was just banging I'm all of them just think uh, how tired that rooster would be <laughs> i thought that was the only thing the rooster does sex. like why else would you have a male uh, chicken like no, why your roosters keep dying of heart attacks and exhaustion <laughs> uh, don't well, i mean he's fucking 150 chickens a day you gotta I'm make sorry, guys. Too- Look, Spoon, you gotta pick a way to go. Welcome to right? hell and heaven at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, AP took his animal husbandry knowledge from the kids' bot version of Who Let the Dogs Out. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that is a callback. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look, in AP's defense, it could be worse. I knew somebody who went their entire life. They said, how can planes fly if their wheels aren't touching the ground? Because they thought oh. people still don't, don't know, know how. Pl- Let me be clear: scientists still don't know how planes fly. <laughs> they the know that it works, but, but they can't. Uh, un- they can't explain it. They're like, I don't know. Is it? It. They're it's like the Bernoulli principle. They're not certain about that. That uh, that is a theory, but that is not scientifically accepted as being uh, the way planes fly there are several models as to why planes well, provide theory liquid. is pretty strong i mean it's called the theory of gravity and we all pretty much yeah, it's true accept that that's called how the gravity law works. of gravity and we could observe it at all times i mean i can observe a plane flying is gravity <laughs> i thought it was still the theory because it's variable Ooh, hot damn Magnus, Arthur, I'm learning how do so they much work about you today uh, <laughs> Helicopters. Let me tell you a confusing one. Stop trying to redeem yourself after that whole rooster and chicken fiasco. <laughs> I just talked about <laughs> that no one could figure out. Like, no one. I, I'm pretty sure I talked about it on Rogue Trader this week on Saturday. Uh, I don't need to redeem myself for the chicken thing. Okay. You know what? You get one, right? Everybody gets <laughs> one thing that one. they didn't That's know. How... Exactly. I'm glad you now know, though. Yeah. I'm you're, sorry, you're... guys. Look. In in my only defense, at least that I knew the chickens that that like pregnancy could have been involved in there somewhere. Yes. I wasn't like one of these people that go like, I don't know where babies come from. I'm I'm in my mid twenties and I'm like, boy, people are like, can you get pregnant through your mouth? <laughs> I'm just like, so I see you didn't pay attention during sex ed. They're like, sex ed, what's that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know specific Sex chicken. Sex while pregnant, hurt baby, top of head. <laughs> all, all I have to say is, <laughs> if the one thing I don't know is chicken physiology, I think I'm set here. Man. You're you're one of today's ten thousand. Congratulations. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> all right. Woo. Is there anything else you all want to do? Oh, you're staying the night over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're yeah. Okay. Is there anything you want to do before you go? You have, you have many hours between now and then, but uh, I'm gonna summon my dear friend, Mister Gigax. Yep, Gigax shows up. I might head over to the tower since I've been in there before. I can dimension door inside without having everything disturbed. Correct. I would like to go with you. I can take one willing participant. One so. willing participant. Okay. Mm. So we can go in there and see what papers were disturbed and whatever find all the elf porn this was oh, the elf porn right. thing. yes yeah, that is correct the elf porn when room. you as you as you leave and i'm just like get me some books when you <laughs> dimension door in uh mm-hmm. you hit the ground with a light tap and you can hear the guard that's up top that's supposed to be watching is snoring on his on his bench mm. uh surrounding you in the darkness is a bunch of let's call them bromides You've been here before. You know what's in them. Mm-hmm. It's not specifically elf porn. In fact, I believe it's extra planar porn. But yes. Oh, some variation. That shit is weird. Yeah, I mean, it's there's some elves that you don't have. There's some succubuses. There's like some water elementals that are displayed seductively. If we see the if 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 I see the the, the succubi or whatever, give talking. Eh? 
Hmm? Is the water elemental just like in a mind. curvy glass or something? Yeah, it's mind. just like a pile of water that has yeah. like one where the hip would be. It has one curve, and that's it's, it. It's like <laughs> those uh, those blob things from Mass Effect. It's the, just, uh, my, it's just oh, a the jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, like the blob thing, whatever thing, but the it's just blue. Hanar. Yeah, Hanar. There we go. Splash emoji. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know more languages uh, now, though, so. I have abyssal and primordial now. Plus, I can read literally everything. Oh, you have tongues? Or oh, you could read. That's right. You can read it, but you can't mm -hmm. speak it necessarily. I, I could have tongues. Okay, I guess so... I only have primordial as an additional language. That yeah, there's nothing in abyssal here, but there actually is a surprising amount of books written in... Uh, which primordial language did you take? Is there... I don't know that Primordial just... is a language. There's Aquan, Orin, think... Ignan, and Terran. This is for... Does it prompt you to choose? I don't remember. I thought so. Right. It said no. choose a language, and it was just Primordial. It didn't have, like, subsets. Yeah. Maybe maybe the, the subset thing is just the ones that you can understand. Mm. Anything outside of that. But yeah, I, I think it's just Primordial in 5e. Interesting. I thought it was still... Divided uh, down. Yeah, the primordial. Sure. Oh, it shows up in primordial ward. D and D five E languages. Yep. Okay. It does say primordial is the language of elementals. Uh, for example, the primordial language includes Oran, Aquin, Ignan, and Terra. Okay, so you don't need to sub. Oh, that's them. just an example. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, creatures that speak different dialects of the same language. Can... Okay, so it's like you you basically understand someone that's from Boston, but also someone that's from Brooklyn. Right. Even though one of them's talking about whiz and the other one's talking about. You know. How he's walking. It has, <laughs> it has the it has the bon appetit on screen translations. Yeah. <laughs> the Duolingo <laughs> <laughs> follows you around. Oh, wow. Um, there are a lot of uh, salacious books in various primordial dialects, but there's also uh, books called like The Study of the Plains, Observations on Movement. Um, you can actually understand these this time around, and just a quick look through them. Uh, you can see that whoever owned this place previously made notes uh, involving like uh, there there is a conjunction of the planes coming like something is happening soon. Uh, I must prepare mm -hmm. this facility and other you know notes further and further in or just like I I don't think that I'm ready. There are things happening in this world that I don't understand. My familiar has left me. Uh, and then another one is just like, I was turned away at the brothel. Me, a planeswalker, told to return to the material plane, that I would no longer be welcome. This is ridiculous. My money has always been good there, no matter where it came from. I don't know what these extra planers are doing, but they think that they can keep me out? <laughs> no, not me. Not me. They'll see. Does it have a name or just me? Uh, yeah, he never assigns any of his work. So it's, just but a... it's his own journals. So yeah, we've we've had the journal of Acheron Silverblade before. Does this like writing looks familiar? Nope. Or no? okay. Not Acheron Silverblade. <laughs> it's um, like so you... a planeswalker. The only planeswalker that we might know of is uh, Turek. Mon Monochrome. Oh yeah, Monochrome was also a planeswalker. So you're looking. I mean, technically, any wizard or cleric capable of casting any of the planar travel spells could mm. call themselves a planeswalker. Gleemo. Gleemo is like a second level wizard. Um, oh, yes, that. <laughs> no. He's a. He can. He can walk. And he's fairly plain, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Doc, are you only looking for stuff in like primordial and other languages, or are you just looking in general? I'm just looking for new stuff. That yeah, I can there's no. Now that I couldn't before. There's no okay. new stuff. There's the yeah. things that you had before, and now you understand primordial. Yeah, but we we can get the name of who was in this tower from someone else, I yeah. assume. Like a. What are your standard tower? languages? Standard languages. Common, abyssal, sylvan, primordial. Okay, I've got common dwarvish, elvish. Actually, dwarf. I could ask Kelly because Kelly has been like studying books in this town for a while, so she, Kelly might know or like know someone who knows someone. Actually, fucking research skill. 
Could do I do. That. Uh, Remember, I spent I spent years researching in this town. Yeah. Well, I got like that class ability, the researcher thing. So the yeah, GM has got... to tell me where I can find information about this. Uh, pop that up for me real quick. That's not exactly how it works. Yes. Right. So if like, you don't know you can, where you can what find do, it, what you are you attempting to does. learn or recall? Um, the the potential identity of this planeswalker who was in this tower. You would know that uh, they would almost certainly have been tracked because this is within the realm of Magnar that the university, the Royal Academy of Magic, uh, would almost certainly. Yeah. So there's no like local historian that would know, but. Count Bondarok indicated to you before that he was a historian and a member of the university because he belonged to the occult club. Right. Uh, but it's possible he might know. Definitely the university would have him. Okay. Hmm. Is there? Are you've also things... heard, I know that you've basically only been to the Adventuring Guild like twice, but you have heard that they are an intelligence gathering organization that can sell you intelligence. Mm. Information broke. It's not like there's a deep backstory about how they take in orphans and then train those orphans to become operatives for them throughout the land. A whole storyline you've completely sidestepped. Don't look at us for your over preparation. Jeez. <laughs> you just need to make like uh, a more, big, party like, boats, big more party boats, Arthur. More party boats, less card games. Um, these I remember last time we tried to like do anything with these, they kind of broke apart. Is there any way to like carefully store one of these primordial? Yeah, I think away? uh, you something along the lines of uh, sleight of hand. Yeah, this... that's that's a good. I would say, I'm just gonna throw this yeah. at you now, would be the time for Agrim to hit you with the guidance. Yeah, um. <laughs> This would be the I time was, you want God having your back. Yeah, I because I think I went through this. We went through this last time. I was here when the books fell apart. Um, would it be? I guess it would be sleight of hand because it's a dex. Yes. Hand. Yeah, it's literally like movement without no like. Uh, this isn't about notice. Finesse. This is about. This is about care. fine motor control. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's finesse. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of what I'd say. Yeah, how, how you handle your book, mate. Oh, holiest of holy. Not the size of the book, it's how you read it. Pr protect us in the moment of need, for we will attempt to salvage. That's way too long for six seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give him, I'll, I'll put like a hand on his back and just tell him, you know, let, uh, let Will Wynn guide your hand. Yeah. Great. Nice. Now you get a d4 to the roll, I believe. And there's like a static discharge when I do it to you. Son of a bitch. Just, a I, if, just, just a tiny little one, just a little little zap. It is a cantrip. If I had any hair, it would be standing on end. <laughs> oh, that's you gonna be that, great. You have that one you. hair that's on your done your exposed nipple that no one talks Look, about. Agri <laughs> walks into a room and everybody's hair immediately just just frizzes up. You know. So we'll do this. Oh yeah. god. Uh, that, that's gonna plus, help. Fuck man. I even gave you Where'd a plus you four. You well, roll uh, twelve D fours, right? Yeah. It's a yeah. it's a D four help, right? Yes. Yeah. It's so a D4. even if I got four, I probably would it'd fail. still be quite no, low. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's still uh, even with God guiding your hand, you just accidentally bump up against something, and then the shelf that's above the books falls, and some of the books, <laughs> and then that shelf hits the one below it, below it, below it. <laughs> then the <laughs> whole <laughs> bookshelf <laughs> falls forward. The two of you take a step back. Like books everywhere under the pressure of the shaking of the guard tower. This is why <laughs> you do not buy furniture from fucking IKEA. Oh, like when that starts happening, I just like grab uh, grab Agram's shoulder. Unless you wanted to like see anything, just like dimension door out of there. Just piss us off. No, I mean I'm yeah no. I'm, as soon as I see this happening, I'll be like, well, fuck. <laughs> just yeah no yeah no we'll bounce. I think that the final scene for tonight is uh, Akram, <laughs> you're laying down in bed, you fall asleep, and yeah. then you're in like an endless expanse of water on a platform, uh -huh. like a raft, 
uh okay. and some dude just shows up he's about 10 feet tall mahala uh, bro <laughs> no. why do you have to take this from me man why do you have to take this from me he's like, got i guess what you're gonna do he has he has <laughs> bronze hair and when i say that it's not bronze colored his hair individual fibers are all made of bronze okay. he does have a, a beach boy look to him except his skin is all alabaster from the waist down, all he has it. is is um, like a tabard, basically. Like a loincloth tabard that reaches uh, all the way down to his feet. And you're pretty sure there could be some ball slippage at any moment. Oh, God. <laughs> and he's just like... He's free-balling. He Yo, is what's up, free dude? How's it going? I guessed it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> hey, man. First time here? Look, Wellwyn told me to drop on by. Seems like maybe you're going to be a little lost, man. Look, bro. You need some guidance, just talk to me, okay? I'm gonna be your angel. All right. Are you that's... selecting your spells for tomorrow? We, let's go over that. <laughs> I'm both confused. Like, like, uh, he looks like you're trying to select spells. <laughs> I'm just it's, thinking it's, to myself, it's, like, it's of the all the ones. version of Clippy. <laughs> yes. Oh, I hope he's not a douchebag. Like, I could take, like, Surfer Boy, but douchebag, I no, don't know. If I, I, I would that. say he's the bro version of Okay. Nice. So he's, I mean, he, Back he, he's, cap. he's pretty chill. This frat boy is basically like frat boy Jason Momoa. <laughs> Dude, if my guardian, if my, if my like angelic contact with Jason Momoa, I'd be all right with it. No, he's way too pale for that. Drains a pitcher and throws an axe. <laughs> uh, That's it. That's the last thing that happens. Oh boy. Do right. some outros. We're going to start with Finley. Uh, yeah, uh, you can see me here every Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Arthur. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Sputnik underscore 71. And we'll see you next week. Drummer Boy, what do you got? Uh, Drummer Boy, make music and put it on the internet. You can find it on Spotify as Drummer Boy or Spotify Roleplay Radio for all the roleplay songs that I've made. Uh, currently working on the next Star Wars tune for, for them. It's going to be Mandalorian kind of vibes. And uh, just got an update in the break of some of the artwork, work in progress of the Court of Swords tune that I'm working on, or have finished. I'm just waiting on artwork to upload it to places. Um, other than that, I've been jamming on this new synthesizer. There's some videos on my YouTube if you care about that at all. Um, also on my Instagram. But I'll be putting those together into something cool, hopefully soon. And more updates on that as I figure that out, I guess. Comic. What's up from you to twitch.tv slash Tomic Warsmith. And catch me here Wednesdays with these fine bearded fellows. Catch me here on Saturdays for more bearded fellows uh, in space, beards in space uh, for a rope chart game. And then space on beards. Sunday, space beards, yeah. Then on Sondays, you can find me over at Pondo's channel for his 5e Gestalt game, where we're doing all sorts of shenanigans and uh, playing two classes at once. That's pretty fun. Uh, that's pretty much about it. Yeah, that's me. Henley. Yeah, son, it's me, Henley. What's up, everyone? Uh, it's a good game. Good game session. Um, it's, it's it's nice doing a fresh reset every once in a while. I, when was the last time we resetted? Like, been a while. Uh, it was like a dozen episodes ago, I think. Yeah. This, this bit, but there was some more time in between that because of the whole Christmas break thing and everything. But yeah, and then wow. we, I mean, it, so it has been a while, hasn't it? It's been twelve mm -hmm. like episodes, but it's been longer than twelve weeks. So, Oof, yeah, kind of throws that all off. Uh, so hey everyone, thanks thanks for watching, Arthur. Thanks for GMing and all that good stuff. Uh, you can find all my stuff that I do on the internet, including all the adult stuff I make over at Kinky Fridays on Twitter. And go there, check out that stuff. It's it's real interesting. We're getting real close to our first release, so that'll be fun. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm getting in the habit of posting more memes there because that's what people want to see on that channel. So if you like the memes, that's a good place to go. But yeah, Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Yeah. Today.
I learned how chickens make eggs. <laughs> you did. Look, guys, hey, you learn something every it's okay. day. Okay, like hey. you know, I'm not upset about it. I... Episode title is chicken or the egg. No, I don't put episode titles on these <laughs> no. shows that I put episode titles on. Sometimes I sit there for like 10, 15. It's a waste of my time. I really oh, yeah. shouldn't. My I, BattleTech yeah, I... show now the episode title is always the name of a Daft Punk song. So. I like that uh, James always says I'm ready to go for Road Trader. He's like, the name of the episode this week is this. Yep. We we usually have suggestions during the episode of some dumb in joke that turns into... Yep, don't worry, yeah. I never use them. They don't right. Half of them, them, half of them right. you couldn't put on YouTube anyways. I don't so want any... I, listen, I just don't want people to get that expectation that I'm always going to have an episode title. <sighs> That's it. Friends, are we good for next week? Yes. Sure. All right. Yeah. Good to go. Boonick, you seem to be in the best spirits I've seen you in in some while. For one thing, you're not falling over asleep. Um, I'm rested. I'm good. You I'm also are sick, which happens at yes. the end of the stream sometimes. All right. Yeah. Have a good night. <laughs>